This is my tiny house and I'll take you inside and on a little tour today. And I'm selling it so it could be yours. Douglas fir, beautiful front entry door with new black matte hardware, which I have through the entire house, tiny house. Uh, the hot water heater is propane. I've had the wheels covered since I got it two years ago, two and a half years ago. And it also comes with the jacks and everything else. The stairs if you want them. And that's it. This is the hot water heater closet and it's insulated. And it has a pretty brand new ream hot water heater with the uh, piping. And I leave this on in the winter just to make sure that it's warm enough at night. This is the end with the hitch and the mini split fan is on this side too. And I have a, a hitch lock that also comes with it. Welcome to my tiny house. Um, this is the living room and the dining room. And as you can see, it has tons of windows, probably more windows than any other tiny house. I think there's 14, plus the door would make it 15. And there's a mini split uh, from Blue Ridge. And this beautiful modern light up, up there, up top. Um, it doesn't come with any of the furnishings except the refrigerator and all the fixtures that are attached to the tiny house. And I have window treatments on most of the windows and screens on most of the windows also. Um, we have this beautiful chandelier. And now at the kitchen. Um, it has this great stainless deep sink and the Porsche of all kitchen sink fixtures, I would say. And a electric two burner cooktop. It even has a dishwasher under the cooktop, an Italian dishwasher. Plenty of storage for everything you need in a tiny house. Even silverware and a junk drawer. And under the sink, I just have all my paints and cleaning supplies. And the refrigerator, I, I had a tiny refrigerator in here and I just couldn't deal with it. So I got a pretty good sized one. And now we're entering into the bathroom. And as you can see, we have beautiful tile, decorative tile work on, on the uh, shower floor and subway tiles, all the matte black fixtures everywhere, the bar sink, and a flush toilet, European flush toilet, and this great mirror um, on both sides has entry to put your, your um, shampoo and all your products. In here it's really a cool design and if you're in the shower you can access your shampoo right from it and the kitchen has this beautiful sink that's stainless steel and very deep which is very important in a tiny house and the Porsche of all um, oh yeah thank you <laughs> the Porsche of all sink fixtures and a two burner cooktop and underneath we have a little Italian dishwasher. I have all my uh, cups and glasses down there. I have all my bowls here and silverware and a junk drawer 
and we have paint and cleaning supplies under the sink. Plenty of storage. And a nice big refrigerator, not, not the tiny little ones. And back here we have the electric panel. I forgot to show you, right back there. Here's another water source in case someone wanted to put in a washer and dryer. I just didn't do it, but um, it does exist and the refrigerator could go on the other side. Oh, I am in it, okay. <laughs> okay, that's it, the barn door for the bathroom. And now we're entering into the bathroom. And as you can see, we have beautiful tile, decorative tile work on, on the uh, shower floor and subway tiles, all the matte black fixtures everywhere, the bar sink and a flush toilet, European flush toilet. And this great mirror um, on both sides has entry to put your your um, shampoo and all your products in here. It's really a cool design. And if you're in the shower, you can access your shampoo right from it. And it has a really great closet for a tiny house. I have plenty of clothes in here. Um, I have a little pantry. And all my storage, my camping gear, my art supplies, and everything down here. So it works really well. We have more storage under the stairs. I have my shoes and my vitamins and things in this little bin here. My yoga mat. And then this is great because it's such a big first step that I use a pillow here as another chair during the day. Okay. Now we're heading upstairs to the loft bedroom, which I got new carpet put on since I've had it. It's like a nice blue gray color. And it's amazing because there's windows on all sides of your bed. I have incredible views here. And I have a full size bed, but you could totally fit a queen and maybe even a king if you had nothing else up here. Um, very spacious bedroom. You can totally sit up in your bed. You have plenty of head space. And because of the 14 windows, it's like an incredible amount of light in here. Um, very spacious, tiny house. It's 300 square feet, which is kind of big for a tiny house also, but the light really makes it. Thanks for looking at my tiny house today. 